deep plan that the Miss Universe organization is under a new management. No, there's, there are no changes. I don't think that uh, that will affect any of the chances for the Philippines to win. And I'm really, really excited to meet this new owner. I think it will uh, really put the brand up. And you know, once you're joining a competition, as much as you want to win, you also have to remember that you need to be yourself. Uh, you need to be real. You need to be up to be authentic. And that's what I want to do in the competition. I always say that I have the best team behind me, and that's really true. But once I'm, I am there, it's gonna be me. So I want to I want to showcase my personality, my character, uh, my purpose. The reason why I am Miss Universe Philippines. That's all I want to do, and I hope that people around me could appreciate that and be proud of me. Another question: Can you tell us the reason or story behind you visiting the iconic Miss Universe town of Philippines? Is is Albert Andrade the designer? So we were having lunch. There. And we were just going around Greenville. I was with Voltaire and my boyfriend, and then we just passed by uh, the shop of Albert Andrada. And of course, I saw the iconic dress of the Wars back, and I couldn't help myself but go inside the shop and really manifest the crown. I prayed, and yeah, that was a perfect day, honestly. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very spiritual as a person. I like to manifest, I like to imagine myself wearing the crown. Making everybody proud, and that's what I did with the dress of Pia. <laughs> and happy birthday! Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, what you saw in the posting that was really her very organic, spontaneous reaction. Like I wasn't, you know, like we just passed by, and then all of a sudden, parang kulo kulo ni panusha dito man. Okay, next. Go ahead. Thank you, Dr. Sir. Happy birthday, Queen Celeste.